Hey, Zach Dobson here with another Friday photo tip. Now that we're into the holiday season, over the next few weeks, I'm going to talk about how to get some cool shots with holiday lights. This week, I'll help you get some of these abstract looking shots of lights with lots of bokeh. If you've never heard the term bokeh, it means the out of focus parts of a photo. People often ask about how to achieve that blurry background, but bokeh can also occur in the foreground. To maximize bokeh, it helps to use a longer lens with a wider aperture. I like to use my 70 to 200 millimeter f2.8 lens. Anything over 70 should do a pretty good job. Wide angle lenses can achieve this effect, but it won't be as pronounced. If your telephoto lens has a higher minimum aperture like f4 or 5.6, this can still work with a few extra considerations that I'll get to a little later on. To a certain extent, you should be able to get some of these types of shots on your phone, but it would be best if your phone has a telephoto lens. I don't think the standard wide angle will cut it, and zooming digitally makes the image quality go down significantly. In addition to your choice of lens, the distances between your camera and the foreground and background are a major factor. The foreground should be close to the camera, and the background should be a good distance away. If your lens has a higher minimum aperture, like 5.6, you can compensate for this by exaggerating the distances. Get as close as you can to the subject and make sure there's a lot of distance between the subject and the background. For this first image with background blur, I'm standing a few feet away from the subject, shooting with a low aperture of f1.4. As a result, the background has a nice blur. For the next image, my focus is on the tree in the background, which is about 50 yards away and the lights in the foreground are significantly closer, only a few feet from the camera. I'm also shooting at an aperture of f2.8. A telephoto lens heightens this effect. Here I'm shooting at 200 millimeters. Try this effect out this weekend by mixing up focusing on the foreground or the background. Try having lights and subjects at varying distances from the camera. Post photos with hashtag ZDP photo challenge and I'll take a look, leave a comment, share them in my Instagram stories. Since it gets dark so early this time of year, it's a great time to learn more about low light photography. For more tips on shooting in low light using only available light, download my comprehensive guide for free. Check the link in the bio. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Tag a friend and share this video so everyone can get better photos this holiday season. Thanks, and keep it real.